Hey guys, welcome back to Think Making. I'm Anton and today I'll be reviewing some Protopasta Aromatic Coffee HTP LA Filament. Whew, that's a mouthful. So let's get to it. Well, if you don't know Protopasta, they are a US-based company that makes some of the best filament out there. They're famous for their carbon fiber filament and for this, HTPLA. That stands for High Temperature PLA. It's basically a modified PLA filament that is able to withstand temperatures of up to 120 degrees after annealing it, twice the temperature normal PLA can take before it hits glass transition temperature and starts deforming. Protopasta's filaments come vacuum sealed and wrapped with some plastic wrap to prevent unwinding. The spool is really one of my biggest complaints. It is made out of some relatively flimsy cardboard, it has no cutouts to see how low on film you are, nor some holes to secure the end of the filament. So of course, I had to drill some extra holes. At least the winding is pretty good. The filament itself is very smooth and resists flexing pretty well. The diameter is also very consistent, so you should get a nice looking finish. Now let's see how it prints. As always, I printed a cube, a Marvin, and a 3D Benchy S calibration print. Using an E3D V6 at a point to layer height, I found 205 degrees to be a great printing temperature. And hairspray, Magigu, or lock build with a bed at 60 degrees, great for adhesion. Although it isn't necessary because HTPLA tends to stick even on a cool bed. However, this may vary for you. And that's when I experienced one of the awesome things about this filament. It smells just like coffee while printing. It's not overwhelming, but it made my small workshop smell delicious. Also, it's not something I can physically show you, so let's continue with the results. As expected from such a brand, the calibration cube printed nicely with sharp corners and defined letters. For a PLA variant, the Marvin also printed very nicely. Overhangs came out almost perfect and brim was easily removed. The Benchy turned out super smooth with little to no stringing. Overhangs and bridging were not an issue either. However, I noticed that color was not super consistent. I believe this is due to the differences in speed during accelerations and decelerations because I printed in base mode and this did not happen. So I went ahead and printed a couple of things I thought might look great with this filament. I started by printing this fortress and it came out looking amazing. The color differences just make it look more realistic. Then I printed this dragon from MakerBot's collection. This one had quite some stringing, but nothing some cleanup couldn't fix. Next, I printed this small snake. It's a print in place object that is then able to bend and twist. It's simply a cool little print, but it needed a friend. So I printed this much larger one. Again, the color differences just make it look more natural. Finally, I printed this low poly Donkey Kong, of course, from Floalistics Designs. All the sides were nice and smooth, but this guy also turned into my guinea pig. So I went ahead and put it in the oven for over an hour at 70 degrees Celsius. This process is called annealing, which should make your print stronger, but what's cooler than that is that it will be able to withstand temperatures of up to 120 degrees. This means I should be able to pour boiling water over it and be able to press it without deforming it and it did work just as advertised. By the way, just to make sure this is clear, this filament smells like coffee only while printing. Not before, not after, only while printing. So it's simply a goodbye airwick situation while printing. Hey, how about printing some coffee HTPLA after printing some ABS? How about freshing up the workshop? In conclusion, this HTPLA prints pretty good. Yet, you have to consider that color inconsistency. But the cool thing about this filament is that it will be able to withstand higher temperatures than PLA, that it's stronger, and that it freaking smells like coffee. If you want to try a roll for yourself, I'll leave an Amazon link down in the description, along with all the designs I featured in this video. Also, remember to tag ThinkMaking in Instagram or Twitter to get a chance to get your creations featured. Well guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you loved it, feel free to support me through Patreon or by buying some cool stuff in my merch store. Links in the description. Also, if you don't want to miss any of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're wondering what to watch next, check out this videos. Again guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.